Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to perform coercion in R. So let's say you have a data value which is of a type of character, or it might be complex, numeric, integer or logical, and suppose you want to convert this value into one of the other data types. So for example, convert a string to a number. Uh, types and type conversion can be very tricky and an intricate topic in R and sometimes this can lead to real problems. Many calculation problems in R can be traced back to incorrect data types and you may need to convert those types. So let's start off by creating a simple uh, numeric vector here. I'm going to assign the value of 1.234 to a vector called x. So let me run line 4 and in file line 5 check the class and we can see that in the console that the class is numeric and over in the global environment you can see we have one value, uh, the value of x, which has a value of 1.234. So that's a new numeric value. So let's uh, go and, and convert this to the other data types that we are aware of. So I'm going to convert it to a character first. So that as.character bracket a value my value of x, put in the letter C there, the value of x. When I run this, it will convert um, a, a, my value of x to a character. We can see in the console down in the bottom left hand corner that the um, x has a value of uh, 1.234 but it's surrounded by inverted commas. Now do note that over in the global environment x still is a numeric value. All right, So we have not created a new variable x has a value of 1.234 uh, but if we wanted to convert it this is how we would do it. If we wanted to convert it to a complex number as.complex and x again and choose to run this, we will see in the console that uh, the number 1.234 becomes 1.234 plus 0i for the imaginary part of a complex number uh, if we wanted to do that. Also, if we wanted to um, convert something to a numeric value, we would use the as.numeric function. Um, now, our, our x already has a value. It is a numeric value. So when I run this, we won't see any change. Uh, but assume, let's say I wanted to change it back to a numeric value. This is how I would do it. And you can see already in the console the different way that R is displaying the value. So as a character, it's got inverted commas. As a complex number, it's got plus 0i. And as a numeric number, you can see it's uh, displayed plainly as 1.234. Let's convert this to an integer. So as.integer. Uh, the value of x. So what would this be if we ran this? Run this and we can see that an int in the console 1.234 when it's converted to an integer has a value of 1. So that decimal place and everything at to the right of it is chopped off. We also have a logical data type so we can also convert this here. So las.logical value of x and run that line and in this case here oh my typo run this and we get a value of true in the console. Now if I want to store the output of any of these here I would need to create a new variable because even though I've converted this uh, or coerced this value of x into uh, character, complex, numeric again, integer and logical, you can still see in the global environment that the actual value of x has remained as a numeric value. So if I want to store well, what is x say as an integer I need to create a new variable. I'm going to call that y and assign it the as dot integer, opening and closing bracket, the value of x. And what that will do then is when I run this, we will see that I uh, get a value of y over the global environment. We now have a second value y, which is an integer. Uh, so we just see the number one and the uh, letter, capital letter L is listed afterwards to indicate that this is an integer, integer value. So um, now if the coercion works, you get what you expect. So let's convert a string into a numeric value. So as.numeric, and I'm going to convert a string. And this string is going to be, uh, let's call this 5.678. All right, so we are reading a number, uh, but it is being read in as a string. So let me create this first. And we can see here that uh, the inverted commas are removed from the value, so uh, that 5.678 uh, is converted to a numeric value of 5.678, and that's as, as you would expect. If I wanted to convert this to an integer, so as.integer, and do the same thing again, inverted commas, 5.678. 
So again, we're reading a string and we want to convert it to an integer. So let me run that line 16. And you can see that the, all the decimal places are chopped off, the inverted commas are removed, and we're left with a value of 5. If I want to convert a number to a character, so as.character, I'm going to convert uh, 5, 5.678. Just convert that number to a character. And again, you will see in the console 5.678 being surrounded by inverted commas, indicating that it is a character value. So conversion does not work, uh, you get uh, NA not applicable. So let me try and convert a piece of text into a numeric value. So as.numeric, let's say the word hello. All right, so that's clearly a, a text value that cannot be converted to a, to a numeric value, but what does R do? So let me run that line of code. And you can see that the value is in the is NA, the first value is NA uh, telling us, and we're also getting a message telling us that the NA was introduced by coercion because it cannot coerce a piece of text to a value, therefore the result will be an NA. If we also wanted to do mixed vectors, uh, to show this, let me create a brand new vector here. I'm going to call this Z and assign it a value of, uh, now let me call it Y and assign it a value of using the combine uh, function of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So let me create that vector first. And if I want to print this out, print y, choose run, we will see we will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 being printed out as numeric values. And I can these are numeric values, so I can do things with them, like sum them all up, sum of y, so sum all of those up, run that line of code, and you can see 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 15. So uh, these are being read in as numeric values, and you can uh, operate the sum with them. Now now let me combine this vector, y, with a vector, uh, and create a brand new vector called z. I'm going to combine it with a piece of text. So z, assign that using the combine operator, open and close brackets, um, the vector y, which I've just created on line 21, comma, and the word hello. All right, so now it looks as though I'm trying to combine a numeric vector with values of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 with the text called hello. Now, this will combine, okay? But if I want to display um, um, z, so let me print z, and print that value, you will see that um, inverted commas have been introduced around all of the values in this. Um, the word hello uh, already had inverted commas on it, so that's not changed. And so what's happening here is, is the greater type is winning out here. So R can recognize that the uh, word hello cannot be converted into numeric values, but numeric values can be converted into string or character values. Therefore, the bigger type wins, and the bigger type here is the um, um, character type. And so if I wanted to do something with this, such as sum them up now, sum of z, say sum of z, try and run that piece of code, you'll see I get an error because um, there is an invalid type with a character. We cannot do sums with a character. So that's how you introduce coercion or, or conversion uh, into R, uh, something that you will need to be very, very aware of as you're working through all your R code, to be very, very aware of data types. And if you need to change from one or the other, this is how you do it. So that's how you um, um, co perform coercion or conversion in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.